it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to do a follow-up. This is a follow-up video to when I shared how to apply under eye concealer without getting creasing. Remember, I shared that video not too long ago. I will link it above here somewhere. So if you missed it, you can check it out. But this is a follow-up to it because I've been playing around with things. And so I'm going to show you how to put on under eye concealer and not getting creasing. So let's get into the video. I have been playing around and trying to get the technique to work to wear powder under my eyes. I really like the way that it looked from a distance, but close up, not so much. And a lot of you guys said, nobody's gonna be standing that close to you, and that's true, but I can see it, and it's annoying for me. If I can see it, and I just felt like as the day went on, it just looked drier. So, what I did is I purchased some things. I've been playing around different ways of how to do it, and I'm gonna show you what worked for me. So the first thing that I didn't do in the other video is I did not use an I only use one eye cream. I can't tell you which one it is because I'm testing it right now, but I used the eye cream that I haven't talked about on my channel. That's what I'm going to tell you. But I wasn't using my avocado eye cream from Kiehl's. I didn't use that. So today I did that. But I have to let that sit on for a while. Uh, some recommendations were to put an oil underneath. That definitely would not work for me because an oil would just, it would just be too much for under my eyes. But if that works for you, that's great. Would not work for me. So you can still see I've got a little bit of shine, so that's on there, but like I said, it's been sitting on there for a little bit. So that's one thing I have to do is make sure I put my eye cream on and let it sit. I can't put it on right before I do my concealer. Other thing that I am doing that's differently is I am using the correct kind of under eye primer. The primer that I used before was your eyeshadow primer. This is the primer that I picked up. I'm gonna show it close up. So you can see it, and this is from Smashbox. I know several of you guys had recommended it, and I decided to, to get this one, so I got this from Ulta. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. So it comes in this little, you can see how it's kind of angled like that. Don't worry about that, because you're not gonna put it on like that. I know I don't, so I'm not gonna just put it all under my eyes and stretch out my eyes. First off, you wanna use very little. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit, and I say a tiny bit, I hope you can see that. I mean, it is a tiny little dab. That's all you need, and hopefully that's not even too much. And you're gonna put it right under your eye, and I just lightly pat it on. Just lightly pat it. And I'm just gonna put the cap on. I'm gonna use both of my fingers, and I'm just gonna blend this in. So this would be step two. So first we're gonna put that under eye cream, let it sit for a while. After that's on, then I have to go in with two more things. So I, I need a color corrector because I've got this, this discoloration right here by my eyes. You can see that. So I'm gonna go in with this, and this is my Chanel. And I'm also gonna go in with, this is the Chanel color corrector. And I'm also going to go in with this. So this is a new concealer. This is, and you know I'm going to butcher it. You know I will. <laughs> I think it's called the Magnifique. Magnifique. Lanco Magnifique. Okay, I know you're all laughing right now. I will have the details below. But it is this concealer that comes in this little tube. Let me tell you. You don't get much in there. I don't know what the, maybe it's the same as this. I don't know, but look at the difference in the sizes. But maybe it's the same ounces. The writing is so little, we're not gonna get into this. So the first thing I wanna do is I am going to put this under, like right, I start actually right here. Probably should have put a little primer there. That's okay. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that there. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on this side, just like that. Then I go in with this, and this color is ivory, ivory. And I take this, and I do this. And one thing you have to remember is when you have this under your eye, you still don't wanna put it all under your eye. You still have to be careful how you're blending it out because it's gonna settle. If you have dark circle totally under your eyes, it's really gonna be difficult to prevent that. I'm just being honest with you. So I'm gonna take my BK Beauty brush because this is what works for me. The finger thing doesn't work for me when I'm blending out. I just don't feel like I get a nice smooth finish. I get a smoother finish with this. So I'm gonna start in this eye and I'm just gonna keep this brush 
right in this area and lightly stippling it just like this. Just lightly stippling and blending it. And I'm just going to keep it right there. After I blended it out a little bit, and I'm, I have to look in my mirror too, because I have to make sure that it's blended really, really well. You have to blend it a little bit more. I'm just going to blend this a little bit more. Really take the time to blend this. Then when it looks like, okay, it's blended really good there, now I'm going to just take whatever's left and then I'm just going to blend it out. But you don't want to do that right away because you're going to have so much product there, even though you're using a little bit. You don't want to get a lot there because for me at least, and probably for you, that is where you have a lot of lines. So you just want to just keep, keep blending, blend, blend, blend. Okay, so now I'm going to do this eye and do the same thing and just blending it. And the reason that I'm bringing it over is because I still have some discoloration there too. So I want to get a concealer there. I just can't slap it on. You can't do what these younger girls are doing. You just can't when you're of a certain age. You just can't do it. So after I do that, then I take a tissue. And all I want to do is just blot it off on each side. Just lightly blot it. Just take some of that off and just make sure it looks good and blended. I mean, that is really the key. Because once you set it with your powder, that's it. So if it's not blended good, you're not gonna go in there with a the brush and redo it, this is done. It's done, done, done. I am going to take this brush, and this is my Cosmetics. Before I powder it, I'm gonna take this real lightly and just really make sure that everything is blended well, then I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. This is the powder that works for me. I tried the By Terry Powder. I did not like it under my eyes. I tried my La Mer Powder. I didn't like that. I didn't like my Chanel. This is the one that worked under my eye. Then I'm going to take a damp beauty blender because when I used the brush, I know so many of you guys said to use the brush when I did, it just didn't look as pretty and it just looked more powdery and drying than when I use this. So I just take this damp beauty blender. I'm going to dip it in some of this powder. Just on the tip, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. I'm not baking it. I know it looks like I'm baking it. I'm not. If I was baking it, I would leave it sit on. I'm not, I'm not going to let it sit on. So now I'm going to take this eyeshadow brush that I just cleaned. It has nothing on it. I'm just going to lightly wipe that off. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see what my eyes look like close up. Not very flattering because you're going to see my under eye puffiness, but this looks so much better than the way that I was doing it. It doesn't look drying to me. It doesn't look drying and I can powder it and just gives it more of a softer look. So if you don't like that shine, this is how you want to do it. Here are some tips again for you. When you are applying your under eye concealer, you want to make sure that you are using an eye cream. I would not recommend using an oil. I know some of you recommended that. I know for me, that would not work if I used an eye oil. So I use the Kiehl's Under Eye Avocado Cream. I love that. I let it sit on for a while. Then I go ahead and I put on my eye primer. This one I'm really loving. This is that Smashbox. I'm going to have all the details below too with everything that I used. So I'm really, really enjoying this. You don't want to use a lot. You just want to use very, very little. Blend it out with your fingers. Just blend it in really, really well. Then you want to go ahead and if you need to. Now, if you don't need a color corrector, you don't have to, you don't have to do this. You can skip this part. So you can go in with a color corrector if you need to color correct under your eyes. This is the one I use from Chanel. And on top of, or so I put that on top of that, I've been using this concealer. So I'm really liking this concealer. Is it better than this one? No. I actually like, I like this one better than this, but this is a nice concealer. I will use it, 
but I still enjoy using this. So you can do the same thing that I showed you, but you can use this. I just want to use this on camera because so many of you guys had recommended that I try this one. So I like it, but I like this one better. But we all have different skin expectations. So if you are using whatever you're using, if it works for you, then that's great. I'm just sharing what works for me. So after I did that, then you want to take a tissue and you just want to blot it under your eyes just slightly. Then I used the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Now this one worked the best for me. The best way for me to apply it was using a damp beauty blender. So just dipping it in there, just putting it on there lightly, then taking it and brushing it off. When I used a brush, it just didn't work as well for me. But if a brush works for you or whatever powder you use, that is great. You guys left so many tips in the comments below, but I really appreciate it because just because something works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. But if you've been trying different things, you may want to give it a try. So again, that is it. If you have any tips to share, please leave them below in the comments. It's all about helping each other here. Um, like I said, what works for one isn't going to work for somebody else. But if you're frustrated like I was for so many years trying to figure out a way to put my concealer on and what to use, this is going to be helpful to so many people. So please, please share this video again. I know it's going to be helpful to so many mature ladies out there. And that is it. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you join our community. It's all about sharing, supportive. Just click that button below, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you click that notification bell too, because anytime I share a new video, you will be notified. And that is it, you guys. Thank you all so much. I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.